It's time to be suspicious of people for no reason whatsoever. Let's completely ruin some people's days. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian and uh, welcome back to airport security. I think uh, we're playing as a guy who is literally made of bones, which of course is awesome. So Sergeant Bones is back on the job. As you can see, James Barnes here uh, traveling from Chile and is 26 years old. As far as I can tell, everything looks good. We'll approve James, uh, but uh, don't don't judge a book by its cover. My guy might have like snails all over his body or something weird, who knows? Well, hey, no one says that. I'm sus of you already. The name is Ronchi, I'm 51 and from Poland. Is it Ronchi, like Ronchi? Like he's gonna tell some like really nasty jokes? Please don't do that, Ron Chi. I'm here for the gun show. I'll give you a gun show. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize for that. Um, everything checks out, but this guy, based on his name and kind of like just his attitude, I'm a little concerned. If you must know, what are you, like a queen or something? I'm Anita Bath. <laughs> Anita Bath. I need a bath. Oh my gosh. Anita, you stinky. 19 years old and from Croatia. What of it? Man, little lady's got some attitude. Uh, she might be royalty. At least she's acting like she is. Um, you can go ahead and, and move along, but um, I don't like you. Why are you doing that? You know me, right? I will not fall victim to your bribery. No thanks. So, na my name. Yep, okay, so she's doing the. So. Oh, um, my name is, uh, 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 Anna Fender. She's like looking at like a, a guitar case that says Fender on it. And I am definitely 50 years old. All right, Anna, Anna Fender. She's an offender. She, it's in her name. <laughs> These stupid names keep getting me. All right. I'm extremely suspicious of an offender. Uh, highlight that. Yeah, she's. She's not 32, she's 50. And I am going to arrest her for attempting to appear 18 years older than she actually is. There's Sergeant Bones doing the, the work that no one else wants to do, I guess. Also, I'm about to unlock a clown. If I walked up to a TSA agent who's dressed as a clown, um, I would think that something is seriously wrong. Anyways, let's walk some of our upcoming victims, uh, 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 passengers um, through the x-ray machine and uh, as you can see we have a bit of an issue with my dude also he's dressed as a pilot I'm pretty sure you could get in trouble for that dressing as a pilot in an airport what are you trying to do who are you trying to fool um we need to pat him down because he definitely has some weapons concealed which is a very stupid thing to to do when you go to an airport he's strapped to his back and then why who puts sunglasses tapes them to the back of their thigh. Just an absolute weirdo. Um, yeah, you gotta get arrested, man. You can't, you can't bring revolvers into an airport. It's just not gonna work. Um, my guy has underwear just like strapped to his hip, but why? I was cool with this guy. Like everything checked out about this dude, but I am gonna have to do a, a quick little search. I, it's worth mentioning. I actually, I, I got on a flight, uh, just a couple of weeks ago and TSA, they they went kind of bananas because I, I forgot that my son's mask was in my pocket. And they're like, what's in your pocket? Why didn't you tell us what's in your pocket? And I was like, I just forgot. I just stuck it in my pocket because he was getting annoyed to wear it. So I just put it in my pocket while we were going through the, the x-ray machine. I'm sorry. Sometimes they can get pretty intense. Anyways, um, I'm basically doing the same thing to this guy that TSA did to me in real life a few weeks ago. Although it wasn't underwear in my pocket, which I feel like in a lot of ways would be way weirder, but it's okay. You can carry underwear on your person uh, when you take a flight, you know, in case you need new underwear. And maybe the flight gets things moving. Don't quite make it to the toilet. I don't know. There is something on her back. I think it's another, another situation where we have someone um, just attaching underwear to themselves, which is, again, very strange. This is Her Majesty. What was her name? Anita Bath? <laughs> 
Um, she's got headphones, sleeping mask, and then are those brass knuckles? I don't think those are allowed on a plane, your majesty. Even if you are pretending to be royalty. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, they have like spikes on them. Knuckle duster. No, you cannot do that. Sergeant Bones, take her away. I'm doing my job. Also, um, I've unlocked clown TSA agent, which uh, seems kind of incredible. Let's do it. I am now a clown. Incredible. Very intimidating. All right, we're looking for weapons. Uh, uh, Sergeant Bozo, of course, on the case. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I I think that's uh, gonna be a no-no. You're under arrest? What is wrong with these people? I feel like by the time we're done doing our job, just about, like, no one is gonna get on the actual plane. This airport is insane, and everyone who's going through it is also insane. And I might be insane to actually stay here and work here. Seems very dangerous. But I, it does look like at least one lady got through. There's a flight of like 200 people and one person's just sitting there. I guess I'm the only one who got through security. The rest of the maniacs brought brass knuckles and straight up firearms. Hello, puppy. Is this is this something that we've done before? This is not something that we've done before. We're, we're sniffing out contraband. Oh man, you gotta sniff the luggage. Look at this guy. This guy's looking real suspicious. Never mind. He's actually totally fine. What about this lady? Her hair's made of cotton candy. Okay, she's fine too. Wait a second. Wait a second. Doggy radar. No, not you. Okay. Oh, there's something over here. In this direction. We're getting closer. What? Uh, hello? My ex-boyfriend is a pilot here. I just need to speak to him for a sec. Um, no, first of all. But, like, that's a really big knife. But it also kind of just looks like a knife that, like, a chef would travel with or something. Also, how does a dog sniff out a knife? This dog is very specially trained. Anyways, um, I am going to arrest you because you tried to bring a giant knife on uh, a plane. Also, it was very funny to watch Bozo the Clown, like, people's elbow you. That was something that I had to experience personally. So we've completed our day of work. Uh, do we not have to interrogate anybody? No, no interrogations. Isn't that? Uh, oh, I guess. Okay. No interrogations today on day five. Uh, we do have the opportunity though to upgrade our terminal, which of course I would love to do. What's going on with the board? I like this like unicorn board. Yeah. What about the scanners? Sure. Unicorn scanners. Let's do it. I'll watch your ad. Amazing. Man, if an airport had x-ray machines that look like that, I'd be pretty stoked. Is there anything else that we can upgrade? Oh, there's a ton of stuff. We gotta upgrade this decor. Let's, okay, you know what? We're making a theme here. We're making this very fantastical. Is that a word? Yes, it is now. Look at this theme. It's amazing. Uh, we can upgrade our desks as well. And I have enough for the rainbow theme. Oh my goodness. Unicorns everywhere. And then of course our TSA agents are dressed as clowns. Very professional. All right, let's keep it going. Who's this? My name is Emma Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, that is not you in the picture. Looking kind of sus. Yes, I will highlight and uh, let you know that this seems to be a different person. So we're just going to have to talk about this. All right, where is your shirt? Or are you just wearing a shirt that happens to be the same exact color as your skin tone? It's weird. I'm 18 years old. My name is Jackson Howard, and that's it. Okay, I, oh, sure. I wasn't asking for any more. You didn't have to be so aggressive about it, Jackson. You're fine. Get out of here. But also, like, put a shirt on, you weirdo. Hi, I'm Annie Position, and I'm 70 years young. Yes. Yes, you are, Annie. You're from Austria, huh? Beautiful country. Um, everything seems to check out, aside from the fact that you're kind of dressed like a leprechaun. It's a little weird. We'll let it run. Hi, my name is Drew Pinos. <laughs> Droopy nose. Okay. However, on your passport, it appears that you have a different name. Droopy nose. And I don't buy it. Let's, uh, let's kind of 
kind of highlight that right there and uh, have Sergeant Bozo take her aside. Perhaps we'll uh, discuss droopy nose later. Is that a Viking outfit? I mean, you know I'm gonna get it. Am I gonna wear it? I don't know, probably for a little bit. Let's do it. All right, we now have uh, Thor working at the uh, airport security now, so that seems pretty good. Uh, it's droopy nose. Hello, you know you have the wrong person, right? Um, then why was your name different on your passport than the one that you gave me, droopy nose? Oh, you must be reading it wrong then. Evelyn Hill, droopy nose, okay, okay. Maybe. Yeah, probably happens all the time. Um, I do like the idea of playing a very stupid uh, security agent, but uh, let, let's keep this going. This isn't a joke. You're committing a crime. I mean... Yeah, but is she doing anything like really, really dangerous? Ha, it's not a big deal, let me go. You've, you've put up a great argument, Droopy Nose, and honestly, because your name is so fantastic, I'm gonna let you go, I'm gonna let her go. I, I Yep, yeah, that's right. I'm a terrible, terrible security agent. I respect her name. What is happening here? You have a chain link necklace. You're definitely not gonna be able to get that on the plane, but uh, <sighs> Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, get him! I hit the I hit the ad thing. I think we're sending security, but we have to watch an ad first, which is very disrupting to the, the chaos of that moment. But we will accept this situation for what it is. That dude was nearly naked, just going through security in underwear, which kind of puts up a red flag already, except for the chain link necklace. And then he's hiding a gun in his underwear. Okay, wait, give me all of the King's Goose money. Um, I'm not sure sure what you mean, dude. Uh, bananas are actually shoes. This guy seems normal. Sir, are you okay? The government hides leg warmers. Okay, fair enough. Let's stun him. I'll watch the ad to experience stunning this maniac. Oh, we gotta aim. Aim for the head. Just get, get that stun gun right on his forehead. There you go. All right, crisis averted. What is that? Is that okay? We gotta we gotta check to see what this thing is on his leg. Um, and also it would be nice if he just put a shirt on, man. No, you're good. You're good. Just I just why would you walk into an airport with no shirt on? Holy cow! What was her name again? Annie? Annie! You got a straight up battle axe in your coat. What are you doing? You were such a nice old lady. What happened here? Okay, okay, so she's got some sunscreen, which is really funny. I can't get the axe. Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Okay, um, scar tablet, scar sun lotion. And then she's like, oh, shoot. I forgot to put away my axe. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to take you in for that one. I, I really liked her. She was a sweet old lady but bringing an axe on a plane probably not the best idea that's a rubber ducky you're fine it's a little weird don't know to have a rubber ducky in your pocket are you planning on taking a bath on the plane i don't think that's an option oh it's puppy time let's find some some contraband oh okay we're, we're heading in this direction towards this guy what do you got what are you hiding a golden gun this is for self-defense? You can't prove otherwise? Self-defense against what? You're getting on an airplane. Don't do that. Zero tolerance policy. I don't care who you're defending yourself against. Get out of here. All right, so it's day seven of my job, and I feel like I've been a little too harsh to the passengers. I'm feeling generous today, I, and I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to be as reasonable as I possibly can with all the passengers. So uh, let's let's switch to, of course, the most intimidating of all of our sergeants, Sergeant Bones. All right, what's going on with you, man? Um, you're from Portugal, and you like explosives? <sighs> I mean, your ID is fine, so I'm gonna let you carry on, but liking explosives is probably something that, uh, you shouldn't immediately, like, start your conversation with a TSA agent, just saying. Yes, yes, I do know you. Like I said, I'm just trying to be more reasonable, more understanding of people's situations, so just doing my part. <laughs> <clears throat> totally not corrupt at all. I like how she wipes the sweat. Could you be any more obvious about being sussy? Paige Turner is my name. I'm 39 and from New Zealand. Um, are you though? Okay, you know, maybe like you, you accidentally mixed up your passport with your friend Alex Lopez. So I'm just gonna let you off with a warning and let you know that uh, <laughs> you probably should get your ID back. 
Oh, man. What's up? I'm Michael Dahl, and I'm 24, man. I just... This guy might be a robot. I'm 24, man. Uh, and his passport says that his name is Peter Pan. Just saying. And that he's 88 years old. Sir, you do not look a day over 87. Very suspicious. I kind of... I don't know. Should I... I kind of want to have a conversation with Peter Pan here. So maybe if I if I do suspicious, we can talk to him uh, later about, you know this weirdness going on. We're just gonna have a conversation, all right, Peter? Oh, it's the lady who bribed me. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> um, your passport says you are British, not Martian. Zeep, zoop, zap, okay. Interesting. Yeah, that is it's convincing. She might actually be an alien. Zoop. All right. I'm glad that we sorted that one out because I was worried that she was actually British. Fortunately, she's actually a Martian. So that's good. Um, let's let's continue. This is the guy who loves explosives. Um, you have something just kind of hanging from your neck there, pal. Um, you know what, though? We're being reasonable, giving the benefit of the doubt. Maybe those are just tiny punching bags. Sticks of of dynamite let him through <laughs> i love the game it's like uh oh <laughs> It knows. Uh, she seems fine. Get out of here. Awesome. What are you wearing? Seriously, what are you wearing? And why? He got in a fight with a bear on the way. It used to be a full suit that he was wearing. Now it's been reduced to that. Okay, all right. Well, we'll let him through. I mean, I, I can't arrest someone for wearing something super weird, can I? What is that? Thi is that a crowbar? It's an emergency deployment crowbar in case, you know, the plane crashes and she needs to pry something open. Let her through. I don't think it was a crowbar because the game was like, hey, you did a great job. Keep it up. And if it was a real crowbar, it would not have done that. All right, what are we looking for? No liquids. The most dangerous of all substances. Again, when we went through airport security a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, my wife had to get a full, like, pat down because of baby formula. Scary stuff, that baby formula. Um, yeah, that was, that was a fun experience. I'm approving everything. I know that I'm picking the wrong choices, but it's a teddy bear and, a, and an alarm clock. Let them all through. Whatever. It's my last day on the job anyways. What? I've only been here for a week. Seems like a short amount of time to be doing this. Well, I think we successfully proven that uh, our airport is the safest airport ever. Probably, definitely not. 